Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back. Welcome to Port Destiny, episode 23 of Wildflowers. Let's see what Parker needs today. After we say good morning, of course. Marty seems nice enough, but his boots, they look like the kind you'd buy from some downtown boutique in the city. Not a rancher's boots, you know? Hey, we wear cowboy boots everywhere. Morning, Parker. Can I help you with something? Well, yes, actually. Natalia told me all about the great job you did on the mine. And you know that broken bridge over yonder? Uh-huh. Oh. What'll it be? Well, some more wood and some iron from your mine would shore up the supports. The mayor's excited because a scientist with a big research grant wants to move into the old lookout post. But I just want to take walks up the mountain pass again and visit my favorite flowering dogwood trees. Okay, I'll help. Thanks. You can bring the supplies by my shop when you're ready. Uh, we already have everything, and I think that's worth it. Uh, do I have a copy for you? I do. Here you go. Been busy in the kitchen. Now I'll take that off your hands. Mountain bridge cannot be built from Parker Services. Yay! I don't know if he's open today, but let's let him get home. Let's say hi to Kitty. Feed the chooks. <gasps> Listen to that purr. Still haven't caught any more carp, but I think we're going to focus on maybe selling stuff from the ma. Oh, our chickens grew up. Huh? Hello, my lovelies. Food for you. And some cuddles. I need to go buy some more animal feed, too. We are out. Hopefully we'll figure out a way to make it ourselves soon. And some food for you. And a cuddle. That chicken that liked to cuddle got murdered by an owl. Not happy. Do I go in here to get eggs? Or do you not have any yet? Maybe you don't have any yet. It's just your first day being grown up. Let's go ahead and grab the little loose branches. And anything else we can scoop up for forageables before we head out. To go see if we can't do that for Parker. These are going to grow right where we're trying to build. So let's get rid of these. <laughs> And anything else over here? A stone. Oops. Some weeds. I don't see anything else there. It's already almost noon. Alright, let's go see Natalia. See Parker. What are you looking at, kitty? It's probably missing the cemetery today. Not a bad plan. So, Thomas is the one making the bonfire for the summer festival, huh? I hope he studied the correct fuel placement. You mess that up, and we'll get sad smolder instead of roaring flames. And I want to work with steel this week, but I don't have enough coal. Please help me get my forge hot enough. Hey, this is real nice. Glad you like it, Natalia. Okay. Is Parker open? I know that Bruno is not. Oh, hey, Angus. Oh, yeah, you want strawberries? Hey, I've heard you're helping with the summer festival. <laughs> Word gets around quickly in this town, doesn't it? Every summer, I make my giant strawberry shortcake for the whole town. It's my own personal mission to make it bigger every year. One day, I'll beat the world record. I need strawberries. Heaps and heaps of strawberries. It would be so awesome if you could spare some. Oh, I hope my flower delivery comes in time. Six strawberries. You got it. During summer, my brother Jamie likes to wear kilts made out of the Seton tartan. Says it gives him better ventilation. Francis said I'd look distinguished in a kilt, but uh, I'll just stick with my jeans. Makes sense. Uh, is Francis here in today? Oh, he needs something too. Everybody needs us today. Ah, summer. The time when I haul out my military grade sunscreen. Angus makes fun of me, but look. The most important part of skincare is protecting your skin from the sun. No offense to Angus, but he looks like he might need military-grade sunscreen, too. Right? I don't want to say I told you so when my beloved gets a melanoma, but I have told him so. Every year. Oh, well. Ah, just the minor I was hoping to see. Have you struck silver in them dar hills yet? You know it's not hills, right? Uh, of course. Sure. <laughs> Mostly. Look. I love working with precious metals, but I have no idea how to extract them. And I need some silver for our wedding bands. If you dig up some raw ore, Natalia can turn it into an ingot that I can work with. 
let's see what I can find. You and Angus deserve the most beautiful rings. Aw, oh, we already have that, so here you go, buddy. Is this the kind of silver you need? I was saving it for tools. Oh, Tara, this is perfect. I can't thank you enough. Just give me first look at the rings when you're done. They're going to be stunning. Here, this is for you. Thanks so much. 145 monies. Well, we need money right now, so <coughs> I won't complain. Oh, we gotta say hi to Violet. Good morning. I didn't want to be a florist at first. I wanted to work at a boutique in the city or something, but summer days remind me, hey, this isn't so bad. I get all the best parts of nature without stepping into the sauna that is the outdoors. Must be nice. Right? Okay. Now to Parker. I know it takes me a minute to get to places, but I really want to increase our friendship with people. Super important to me. I also really want the big vegetable patch, but we're going to resist and do the mountain bridge. Should only take a day or so. Yay, Parker's repairing the bridge to the mountain pass. It should only take a day. Good stuff. Now let's head over. Oh, hey, Marty, do you have some chicken feet on you? Chickens can't blow away in the wind, right? I hope not. I would hate to get smacked in the face by an errant chicken. Uh, I can't buy chicken feet. I have no chicken feet for tomorrow. There's... Am I going to have to catch him in the morning, maybe, before he leaves? I really need chicken feet. Hey, Kai. Oh, when I was a kid, I used to go visit my cousins at the beginning of every summer for the Shinyo Lantern floating ceremony. We'd write messages on lanterns and then push them into the water. <laughs> it was sick. I asked Otto if we could do that here, but he said there wasn't room in the budget. Ah, whatever. It's a great ceremony. It's super fun. Um... Let me sell you these paper that I made to sell you forever ago so I can start boosting you up. Yeah. So now, oh, we also have candles. I think we have candles, actually, probably that are ready in there. I do want to get the seedlings going for the trees, but we don't have the space for it yet. So we must resist. Hey, Emmy. The business book said I have to pick the right price for our product, but I don't really understand money. So, that's hard. That's cute. Hey, Ben. Emmy says, I'm in charge of our lemonade recipe. This is gonna be the sweetest lemonade ever. Tara, I hope you're bringing us a ton of sugar. As much as I can. Oh, Lena, what do you need, hon? First, a good you afternoon. You are a lifesaver. Now the twins have something to occupy themselves with outside of school. Except, Emmy keeps asking me about stock options, and Finn keeps asking what would happen if you put ketchup in lemonade. Ew. I'm getting the sense that Fairhaven's festival isn't just about the solstice. Is there a story behind it? Oh, yes, there certainly is. Here, let's step outside and I'll explain. Ooh. This is a statue of my ancestors. Peggy and Molly. They lived here during colonial times. Whoa. I knew your family had been here for a while, but I didn't realize just how long. One summer during the Revolutionary War, the British Navy demanded all of the town's stores. So the people of Fairhaven loaded all of their crops and livestock into a storeroom ready for transport. The next morning, the soldiers opened the doors and saw an empty storeroom. So they had to sail away, empty-handed. Then Peggy and Molly led the mayor of Fairhaven to the lighthouse. And there it all was. The girls swore up and down that they'd prayed on it and a miracle had happened. To this day, we still don't know how they pulled it off. But we celebrate it, even if we don't understand. And here I thought this was just a statue. <laughs> oh no. It's rare that the things around us are just anything. Tell you. 100%. She's one of the witches. What do you need, Cameron? Hi, Cameron. What are you reading? Oh, um, the, the Book of the Mind, of course. I just love to sit in this spot. It's so quaint. It looks more like a movie set than the real movie sets from my childhood. Not that I miss Los Angeles. I mean, it's beautiful, but the people here in Fairhaven, they feel more... Real. 
Hey, you may be from Hollywood, but you feel pretty real to me. <laughs> well, thank you. That's very flattering. I try to make authentic connections with people. I didn't mean to imply judgment of people in L.A. or here or anywhere. People have to walk their own path wherever they are. All I meant was that out there, I felt like I was all on my own in my search for life's true purpose. It's better to have company on one's journey, don't you think? Hey, casual friends. Indeed I do. Hey, Kim. Wesley, that bookseller from Milkwater, is my biggest customer these days. What does he do with all that meat? Does he, like, feed an orphanage? A carnivorous orphanage? <laughs> I like her. Okay, let's go see Sophia. I know you don't sit, Shiva, but I wanted to give you this anyway. Thank you, Sophia. As a community, it's our job to come and lift you up in your time of mourning. Aw, that was sweet. Thank you, Sophia. Okay, let's go see if we can't visit Graham. Which one was she? This one, right? Oh, I can leave gifts? Oh, I'm gonna leave a witch weed. I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe, I promise. I miss you. Super sweet. Oh, they did such a good job on this game. Some of the small add-ons that aren't... Why? Where am I going? I know the map, so I don't know where I'm actually going. We're going to head to the mines, though, because we need to get more silver so we can upgrade our tools again. Hey, Vanessa. Last year, the Fairhaven Summer Festival was included on a list of the best summer activities in the region. Of course, we were at the bottom of the list. But maybe now that you're here, we'll be at the top. Maybe. We barely have any friendship on her. Amira! Amira, Amira! Hello. I was delighted to learn there is a summer festival in Fairhaven when I first moved here. There's one back home called Tiergran, the Festival of Rain. My family didn't really observe it, but my friend's family did. Her mom made the most amazing saffron rice pudding every year. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not a fan of rice pudding. Okay, we'll talk to everybody here. Yeah, let's hit the mines and try and get some more gems and ores and stuff that we could probably... Actually, you know what? Before I go, is it worth mining to make money? Okay, so to buy, it's five money. But if I wanted to sell you one, you ten money. Oh, so it is worth it. Hmm, okay. So let me sell you, it's a hundred money for ten. I'm going to sell you ten of those. Those actually sell much better. And then we're going to hit the mines. Yeah, that's going to be a good way to get the money we need for the extra garden area. I think that's actually going to be a little bit better than the other legs. We need to open up deeper levels in the mine anyway. Look at you go, Parker. I bring you a coffee, but I'm all out and I'm saving my money. Um, I still don't know how you get keys. Maybe we just haven't learned that yet. And why are some blue and some orange? Haven't figured that out either. But like some of the mine rooms have treasure chests by the door. I don't know how we get into those. I'm assuming it's a spill we're going to learn later. Or maybe we need to make the metalworking table. So we could see what's on that. I'll worry about gems once we get to the bottom of the mine. Right now I think oh, we haven't bought a shovel for this one yet. I think we did, didn't we? I don't remember. We did. Okay, good. I wasn't sure. Okay, let's get whatever ores we can. Smelt them up and sell them back. Get the money for our garden expansion so we can really go ham on plots and the trees and all the good stuff. I really would like to get our tools upgraded again, too. So it takes even less energy. <laughs> It's only 7 p.m. We got plenty of food. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the gems. 
the possible gems. Because <laughs> it could be coal, and we just gave a bunch of our coal to Natalia, so might as well scoop that up too. I don't really want that right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat some noms. We'll eat a cupcake. This is great on energy. Come on, key. Nope. <laughs> Not leave until I find the key to the next level. <laughs> the deeper in you go, the more the echo. <laughs> okay, let's pick these up. I missed that one, I know. Oh, there's some silver. <laughs> Come on, I just need the key before we leave. <laughs> Oh, some more silver. Nice. Yeah, I think we're going to go for upgrading our tools again. I mean, the copper one, don't get me wrong, is amazing. But I think the silver one's going to be fantastic, too. And even less noms we got to eat. Okay, no key there. None over there. What have we missed? Oh, there's a couple over here, too. Goes further than I anticipated. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Did you take my money from me? Oh, there's a mushroom. It's only 10, so we still got time. <laughs> and we need to eat again, so we eat. No, no, no. Not that. Every time I eat a chocolate cupcake in this game, I want a chocolate cupcake. <laughs> Jeepers. Looks so yummy. And over here. <laughs> there we go. Might as well finish this level out. Since we're going to be going home soon. <laughs> it was almost the last one we hit. Wow. Okay, let's get these gems. Which I, again, I may wait to come get these until after we have a better pickaxe. But we have some energy and it's getting late. So let's go ahead and use them up on gems. <laughs> We open the new level, that's all that matters. <laughs> and we can probably get one more. <laughs> no gems today, though. That's sad. Let's grab the <laughs> fine sand. Poke our head through, and then we'll just go straight back out. It's faster than running all the way back to the other side of the cave. In my opinion. I know, I know, it's getting late. We should go to bed soon. Generally, it gets us going to bed at like 18 minutes. So it, we still got more episode. Uh, let's do some Miracle Grow. Do we have another speed potion? Because that's going to be running out soon. No, so we need to make one. But we need to make paper, which eh, we can do in the morning. <laughs> I know, I bet you are sleepy. It's been a long day. What is the next day going to bring us? We can go sell those fish off to Bruno. Water the crops. They're coming in nicely. Oh, and we get to go check that out today. Um, are you done? Because it was overnight. Oh, no. Oh, we didn't make more. We needed to go make paper. We need to get this upgraded, too. Oh, yeah, our speed buff is gone. That's not going to work for me. Let's do ten sheets. Oh, can we make some more candles? Oh, we can make that one. I don't have soy milk. We don't have animal fat, so we can make one of those. Milk for that, grapes for that, hops for that, apples for that. Okay, I'm just trying to remember what everything was. Apples, grapes, or oranges, carrots, olives. And then we don't have it open that yet. Okay, fair enough. Oh, what do we need for the metalworking bench? Oh, the gold ingot, which we could probably buy from Francis. And 600 money, that's what I was... Yeah, I think I want to do the farm first. Oh, we got mail also. We're moving so slow, though. Let's get our speed buff on. Oh, we need some ink. 
Let's get like four of those, and then we'll make two of those so we don't accidentally use the... Oh, that one's clicking. The seaweed. What do we get for mail? A new neighbor has just moved into her home in the mountain pass. As a former new arrival, I thought you could help show her the way of the town hall. Show her the way to town hall. Thanks for doing your part to help welcome a new member of our community. Yes, I'll show her the way. Once I figure out how to get there myself. It shouldn't be too hard. It's just at the top of the mountain. Okay, let's water our crops first, though. Uh, we gotta go run over to Marty and see if he's got some animal feed he can sell us. Because we have none. Fill up our watering can. Oh, our tomatoes are ready. Nice. We can go ahead and plant some... Oh, I need corn, too. And I need sugar. Let's do the sugar for the kids. So we do have some corn planted. And we can put a boost on that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's all the wrong buttons, but okay. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's do a boost on that. Looks like our flowers are done, so we should start getting honey again. Oh, I need to boost the strawberries, too, because we're only going to get four. We need six. Oh, these ones are not done, so let's water these. Our soil is done. It really didn't take this long to get 50 soils. I thought it was going to, so that's also quite good. Okay, let's go see if we can buy some chicken feed from Marty before we do any... Oh, no. No, no, no. Let's use this. And then the go time buy some for chicken feed. Yes, lighten my feet and make them fast. Thank you, thank you. Chicken feed time. So I think we have to get there by a certain time or he's off and not selling things that day anymore. Hey, Thomas. I'm not going to do anything else. We're just trying to book it to him. Please be here. You're not here. I need chicken feed. How do I get it if you're not here? My chickens need food. Thomas, how do I get chicken feed if he's not here? It's hard to find good help. My dad helped out with the summer festival once. He never did it again. Said it was too much work for a middling party. Oh, also, I have your favorite meal. Your favorite snack. I forgot. Mm. You know the best way to make cornbread? Grind the corn in a coffee grinder. Mom showed Hazel that trick. Oh, that actually makes sense. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Well, let's grab this. Man, I really need... Let's go see the chucks. We can at least give them love today. Probably won't be getting any eggs or anything. So they're going to be like, you did not feed us. We give you nothing. But we can go give them a cuddle. Get all this cleared up. Anything on this side? We also need to love on Kitty. Oh, that's gone because it took us too long. We can get it put back. At least we already know it's cleared. Oh, let's get this one. Oh, yes! and we got our first egg. Might be our last egg, too, if we can't figure out how to get chicken feed. Yay, eggies! I'm sorry, buddy. I know. But I'll love on you. Maybe there'll be some fantastic bugs on the ground for you. Maybe we'll find Martin up on the mountain or something. I know you're hungry. I feel awful. I know they're just game chickens, but I still feel bad. Oh, such a good cat. Yes, she is. Here, you can have some. I had some sardines. Maybe not. Okay, you get a job today. Because I need money, so... You don't get your favorites. I'm sorry, I haven't fished any up yet. <laughs> Not recently. Okay, let's go see the new neighbor and let's check out this new... Oh, we got a new flower. Oh yeah, that's the one that we got in the last... In the first episode of Summer. I remember that now. Ooh, Fairhaven Mountain Pass. Oh, a new fishing spot. A couple new fishing spots. Oh, it is pretty up here. Wow. 
They did so good on this game. I'm so happy with it. I wish the views would do better, but I'm still having fun and still keeping it going because I'm enjoying it. Okay, let's start foraging. Because why else? What up? Why not? It's the words I was looking for. Is it a... Uh, it is a recipe! Manupua pork dumplings. Can I be crafted in your kitchen? Manupua? I don't know how to say that. Oh, we got blackberries. Nice. What else do we have before I go meet people? Oh, do we have to add this to our daily foraging? No, I didn't. Okay, we're going to cut a tree down because I was trying to get that loose stone. And we need that wood for the quest again anyway. Let's grab you. Can I get across here? We can. Oh, hey, it's a bear. Say hi. Vanessa ran the summer festival last year. Sophia certainly has a big act to follow, but I'm sure she'll do fine. Don't be a biased jerk. Ho there! As you may have heard, we have a little tradition every summer here in Fairhaven. Yes, the uh, summer festival. I know. Well, you're right on top of things, aren't you? I like that in a citizen. Speaking of which, I could use some help. I was waiting for that. With my speech... The peak of summer is everyone's favorite time of year, and I want to capitalize on that goodwill. Do you think I should talk about history, unity, or the future? I think you should talk about bringing the community together. Yes, that's what I'll do. Well, I better get to writing my speech. Mm, I don't like you. I don't even like you a little bit. Can I... Oh, they have a neat little house. What is this? Joshi residence. Giva lives here. Oh, a Joshi residence. Okay, I get it. So I can't forge any of that. Okay, so where... Maybe they're just not here yet. Kind of like the rancher didn't get here until, like, the evening. But we can still run around and grab all the goodies. And see what kind of new fish we might have here. Oh, we found a small pile of coins. That is quite fantastic. What do we got up here? Vote more blackberries. Heck yeah. Anything else over here? Got a bridge to go across. Let's go this way first. Oh, there's somebody. Hello. Hi, I'm Tara Wild. I own the farm down the mountain path. Are you the new scientist? Oh, I think I saw your farm on my way in. Oh, it's charming. I am Giva Joshi. And yes, I am a meteorologist. I'm here to study the funny weather patterns you have here in Fairhaven. Oh, is our weather that strange? It seems pretty normal to me. Really? Well, I understand you're having a reduced rainfall compared to other areas in the region. Unusual for this time of year. Well, in any case, your mayor told me you might show me the way to town. Uh, absolutely! Uh, follow me. This is the blacksmith, run by Natalia. Wait, like an actual village blacksmith? Oh, how quaint! <laughs> I wonder if she could make me copper wiring for a new antenna. And here we are! The town hall. Oh, you must be Giva! I'm Mayor Otto Soft. Thanks for bringing her by, Tara. We have a little game we play with all new arrivals in Fairhaven. Introduce yourself to all your neighbors, and they'll let me know when you've met everyone. You're a riot. Actually, he's serious. Oh, <laughs> wait. Really? Yes! And you'll get a prize to help you get settled. Oh, you've already met Tara. So that's one down. Um, okay, why not? Should be good for a laugh, right? This island may be stranger than I thought. Uh, what was that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, man, I wanted to go explore more up there. Hey, Violet. That bookseller. He was really close with Grandma, huh? I think so, yeah. But not like that. Ew! Ew! Hey, if they were close like that, good for Hazel. <laughs> okay, let's go back up to the mountain. That's where we were trying to 
go check out. Yeah, I'm trying to get back up there too. I feel you. Actually, you know what? Natalia, let's say hi and get you to smell some stuff for us. I always get so excited for the summer festival. Ukrainians have cupola night, which is pretty similar. My neighborhood in the city was mostly Ukrainian. Every summer we did a dollar store version of cupola night in someone's backyard fire pit. Who doesn't like hanging out around a big fire? It is fun. Okay, so I need... Let's get all of those and two of those. I haven't got to that yet. And then I would like to sell you... No, not... Uh, I'll keep... You know what? I'm going to sell them all because they're so easy to get. And then I'm going to sell you... Oh, but I need some of these for the thing. We're almost there. Here, have... Okay, we have enough, but do we have enough supplies now is the question. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, it's only five bars. Okay, let's go see if Barker's in today. Oh, it's five o'clock. Crap. So, yep, he's closed. Back up to the forest we go. At least we have the money. Oh, but we need extra money for animal feed. We're going to have to try and rush to see Martin again tomorrow. Because, yeah, we've got to get some noms for our chicks. That's just not cool. Did I replant? I did, okay. I couldn't remember. But I do want to see if there's new fish up here or if it is the same fish we already have. And what else there is, because we didn't get finished exploring. We got pulled away. Okay, we've been there. It's like a little hot spring. That's what it looks like. Hop in and get our energy back. That'd be cool. Um, okay, there's a fishing spot on this side. What do we get? Oh, quick! A chub! Apparently we had not caught one yet. Who knew? I guess we had been buying them from... Bruno. Okay, can't go that way. It's only 7pm, so we still got some time to look around. I want to check out this fishing spot, too. I don't see it. Maybe it's not there right now. Oh, there's a lot of area to explore here. I wonder if this is where the other side of that bridge takes you. Yep, sure is. And I'm back down. Okay, well, that's all of it. Oh, oh. These are worth digging up, so I'm going to do it. Is it? It is! Sweet potato casserole. Ooh. Yum. I think I'm going to use the rest of my energy in the mine. So, wildflowers, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Later, y'all.